Lau and Lightman. David, he hadn't really shown much up until his last start. Did that run catch you by surprise at all? Uh, his track work's been good. Uh, so I think he had never been placed till the other day. So it was nice that he could do that. And he looks like he's held his form. So depending on barriers will be degrees of confidence. But uh, I think if he's uh, in similar runs to how he did first up, he'll be pretty close. And you sent him up to Chungfa after his last run. Um, I know you've had satellite stables right throughout your career, but Chungfa is obviously new for you here. How's he taken to that? Look, he really liked it. The reason he went there, he's a bit light on the feed bin and in the more relaxed environment at Chungfa, he was able to uh, increase his feed intake. So that's, I think, a real bonus of Chungfa. As far as your own form is concerned, of course, you had a terrific day, the opening day of the season with a double, but things have been a bit quieter since then. Was that to be expected, given the amount of new horses you've got and all of those sort of things? Oh, look, I've, I've got a stable full of new horses and a few local horses with very ordinary form. So I think for the next month with those local horses, any win is a bonus. I was thrilled with Beauty Generations run. We just got pipped yesterday. So we're sort of knocking on the door, but... Uh, I think the stable will get a lot stronger once the new horses start running consistently. David, give way please. He's a horse that you actually also trained in Australia prior to coming over here. Was it always a plan for him to come to Hong Kong? Uh, yes, it was. Uh, he, he's uh, a promising horse. I think he's probably going to get better as the races get longer. But he, his one trial here was an 800 trial against moderate company, but he was pretty impressive. And I thought there was just a shortage of class 4,000s. Uh, I'd take a chance. I normally like to give the new horses two or three trials, but he looked like um, he was ready to go. So I'm taking a bit of a chance, but going in a little bit on the light side. He looks like a speedy type. Yeah, he, he, uh, he certainly got the speed against those in the 800 the other day, but I do think long-term he went up a miler. Okay, has he got a bit of an awkward head carriage, David? Uh, when he's doing 14 to the furlong, he certainly has, uh, but when he lets down, it's okay. And he's settled in here well, all of those sort of things? Yeah, he has. He's, uh, he's the first uh, new horse I've, I'm running, and probably he's a couple of weeks ahead of the others, so um, he's hit, hit the ground and settled in well. Warlord John, he's found his niche on the dirt. He's racing with some heart on the dirt and uh, he, uh, I mean, 1650 is a bit of an ask for him but we have to go there anyway to try and see if he can get it. Um, he's not that keen on the kickback but um, eventually he gets in the clear he'll, he'll run on okay. He won quite impressively at his debut here in Hong Kong but he hasn't won since then, is he a horse that you've had to manage carefully? Yeah, well, it's a little bit unusual. A horse can win his first start in a race in Hong Kong, usually got a good future, but he's been disappointing. And um, so we'll try a few different things with him and see if we can change his mind. You know. Leap of faith, John, how's he come out of that first up win? Seems all right. Um, he was uh, a little bit immature last season and he's struggling a little bit with that, but he still managed to win. And then he's come back a bit stronger, he looks a bit better, and uh, certainly performed better. So um, I'm hoping he can win another race. Is he a fairly progressive type, do you feel? Well, I think, um, you know, he gets through his class threes okay. After that, I'm not sure where he go, but uh, class three looks capable as a, at that. And how did he enjoy his time at Chungfa? He seems all right. He's, uh, he's, when he come down from Chongfa before he raced, he, he looked really good. He looked fantastic when he, when he, when he come down. And uh, I think um, this time he, he sort of looks a little bit stronger again. So hopefully he's improved. John, you've got two runners in the one race coming up on Sunday. Let's start off with excellent proposal. Were you as impressed as we all were watching that race the way he won last time? Yeah, sure. You couldn't uh, couldn't be anything else but impressed with him. He's uh, uh, his runs since he's been in, in town have been first class. You know, he's raced very well. <clears throat> he looks like um, uh, a fairly diligent racehorse. He travels well. He's fairly kind in his races, he he's sort of uh, accelerates quite well, so um, he's got a lot of things going for him. What about stepping him up to 1800 metres here? Well we have to try eventually, he's had, uh, he's had 
two runs uh, in a short space of time, and I, so I think he's fit enough to to go uh, to the 1800 and try out if he's try see if he's capable. But um, the way he travels in his races, uh, he's so kind. I think uh, he, he'd probably be able to do it. He's already on a rating of 92. You've won three derbies in your time here, John. Has he got the class of a potential derby horse? Well, he certainly looks like a contender. You know, like if he, if he gets to 100, um, well, that puts him uh, in, the, um, in the realms of possibility. It's just a matter of how he goes on in the next few months, you know. But, uh, yeah, if he can win a race like this, well, uh, and then uh, with the passage of time between now and March and a little bit more improvement, um, he's going to be in the race. And in Richmond, John, he's come back from Chungfa. He's had a number of trials. Are you happy with his condition heading into his first up run? Seems all right. It's uh, his uh, first run back at a distance, so that's always problematical. But um, he's had plenty of work and uh, he looks in pretty good condition. Um, he's a seasoned racehorse for Hong Kong, so uh, should uh, should race well.